It's six questions on one of my favorite 90s movies of all time, a goofy movie. Can I get all six of these questions or do I fail miserably? You'll find out in just a second. This is Trivia with Buds. Let it be. And welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out my show. If you like Disney, if you like trivia, if you like Goofy, today's episode is for you. This is all about a Goofy movie as picked by Patreon subscriber Jen Wojnar. Jen is one of my old co-workers and my dearest friends, and she is a huge nerd. She loves nerdy stuff. You could usually find her in Burbank, California at the Perky Nerd, buying some stuff, hanging out, being part of book club, and uh, she is just a delight. So if you're looking for a new nerdy friend, go check out a perky nerd, the perky nerd in Burbank, California, and look for Jen Wojnar. She'll be there. And uh, Jen said, hey, as a patron, I'd love for you to do uh, an episode on Cool Runnings, which we did last month, another 90s Disney produced thing. And uh, that was fun. And now we're on to her next pick for December, which was a goofy movie. So we will do six questions on a goofy movie. My wife, Ashley, whipped up some for me and I answer them. And oh boy, they were a little tougher than I thought. <laughs> it's hard to remember specific stuff uh, from this movie. It's like just like when people at live trivia nights, they're like, oh, do friends trivia. I love friends. And then I ask 10 questions and they're like, Oh, I only know like, um, you know, Joey says, how you doing? Like, (laughs) that's like all I know about a Goofy movie. It's like, oh yeah, Goofy's in it. That's all, all the detail I remember about the movie, but it's still one of my favorites. And uh, now it makes me want to watch it again. They need to throw it on Netflix because a go- an extremely goofy movie is on there, but a goofy movie is not. So they need to throw the original back up there because I've seen the second one way more times than the first because the kid watches it all the time. Speaking of the kid, Annabelle joins us for this episode. She has some of her own trivia along the way, and uh, she kind of jumps in with some questions here and there. So get ready for that. Uh, getting ready for the holidays and a big trip to Chicago coming up next week, eight days away from going to Chicago. That's going to be a ton of fun. If you're going to be in Chicago and uh, specifically the south suburbs where I'll be at because we won't have a car, so we'll kind of be hanging around that area most of the time. If you want to hang out or grab a drink or uh, a Starbucks or something, let me know. Maybe we can work it out. That'll be a ton of fun. And uh, I will be recording a bunch of podcasts while I'm there with uh, friends and family members and things like that. So we'll be doing some fun stuff like that. And I'm also going to try and get scheduled um, podcasts for the entire week that I'm gone. So um, I don't have to worry about posting them while I'm there. I can just record new ones and put those out in early January. So get ready for that. I'll be uh, tackling through the rest of this list of people's, I think we're still on November topics at this point. I need Entourage for Sarah, Time Travel Movies for Dan, and um, um, Valley Girl Speak for Erica. She wanted to do a topic on um, Valley Girl Speak. So it's like different phrases and movies and things pronounced in the way a Valley Girl might say them. So that'll be interesting and fun. And also still have to get to everybody's December topics. I know we're late into the month, but we will get to those very soon. If you want to pick a topic that I'm guaranteed to do sometime on the show's immediate future, you can go to patreon.com slash trivia with buds and donate $5 or more. Mo Martinez just did that. He donated 10 bucks and he gets uh, an art square mailed to him monthly and he gets to pick a topic and he gets a Sharknado headshot and he gets a thank you in all the show notes to the episode. So thank you, Mo. His topic was that 70s show. If you want to listen to that episode, we put it out, I think three days ago. So go check that out. If you ever want to see all the episodes we did, you can always just keep scrolling down on your device in your podcasting app, and you should see all the different titles. It should say the exact amount of questions we do on the topic. So it's like 10 questions on that 70s show, 15 questions on advertising slogans, 20 questions on cool runnings, et cetera. So check that out. Uh, Thank you so much for your support of this show. And if you want more of it, just keep telling a friend and help me build this thing up into uh, an amazing trivia machine. I think it's already probably um, the most reliable trivia podcast in terms of not missing a day for over 172 days now. So that's kind of cool. You can always know that you'll get it no matter what. Even if I post it at like 1145, it goes out on the day. So thank you, thank you, thank you for your support. And uh, we're going to jump into these six questions with my wife, Ashley, and my daughter, Annabelle, about a goofy movie right now. Here we go. 
sitting here in my at-home office in a balcony area off the side of our master bedroom, which sounds very fancy, but is not so fancy. <laughs> no, it's also just a extra storage room. It's just an extra storage room with a bunch of stuff in it that we don't use. And I'm here with my beautiful wife, Ashley Starling Buds. How's it going, Ash? Good. How's it, it going? It's a Sunday, and I said, can you whip me up a quiz on a goofy movie? And you said, yeah, I've got a lot of free time with two kids running around and just mayhem. Sounds about right. <laughs> Joined by you is your co-host. And uh, what is your name? Annabelle. Annabelle. Are you going to help mom with this goofy movie quiz? Yeah. You got a question right off the bat about Goofy? Yeah. What is it? That he's that he always goofs around. <laughs> that, <laughs> he's, always around. he's always goofing around. Very good. All right. Think of we, a trivia question for you, Dad. If you can think of one as we go on, you just yell it out, okay? Right now, we're going to jump into five questions on a Goofy movie. I've seen this movie more times princesses. than I can count. What's that? Princesses. You just want to switch the whole topic to princesses? <laughs> Who's your favorite princess? Ariel. Why is that? Because I love her dress and her slippers. Very good. A little sidebar about Ariel and from Annabelle. Tiana. And you love Tiana. Very cool. We're going to do five questions on a goofy movie. I saw this movie in theaters with my friends Steve Nelson and Rob Salud when we were probably nine or ten, and we fell in love with it. It was like the best movie. We were cracking up in the theaters uh, as kids, and uh, we're still grateful for Rob's mom taking us to the Bargain Theater, Bremen Town Theater in... Um, Oak Forest, Tinley Park, Illinois, to see this about, oh, 20 years ago now. So have you ever seen this movie, Ash? Uh, yeah, I couldn't tell you a thing about it, though. <laughs> so when you were looking up these questions, <laughs> you really had to look them up. Yes. <laughs> All right. Let's go into the first one. Let's see how many. I think I can get, I'm going to say five out of five. Well, I actually have six. Oh, you have six. I'm going to get five out of six. Okay. <laughs> All right. All here's right. the first one. Uh, we... What is the name of the hotel where Max and Goofy stay? Okay, so I'm definitely not going to get five out of six. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> the name of the hotel that they stay at? Yeah. The Motor City Lodge. No. What is it? The Neptune Inn. Definitely never would have known that in a million years. How did you even find that question? Well, because I'm good. <laughs> the Neptune Inn. Okay, very I, good. Uh, question two, what is Goofy's job in the movie? Ooh, okay, Goofy's job... Oh, man, I'm not going to do good on this at no, all. No, you're not. Uh, is he like a product tester? Nope. A uh, safety inspector of some kind, and he always goofs no. it up? No, he does goof everything <laughs> up. Annabelle told me that. <laughs> no. What is it? He's a photographer, and he like swallows a squeaky toy. He's trying to get kids to like smile, and he likes... That's not his job in the movie, is he it? Is. He's a photographer. He's taking kids' pictures. All right. All right, I'm learning all kinds of stuff about this movie that I forgot. All right. Number three. You ready? You yeah. going down. All right. At the beginning of the movie, Max has a nightmare. What does he turn into? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I... This is like your favorite movie. It well, was one of my favorite movies. This topic. This is Jen Wojnar is really putting me on the spot right Good now. Good job, Jen. I Throw them off. I, I hope, like it. I hope Jen's getting a lot of these. I... Haven't seen the movie in a long time. You know what I have watched a lot is no. an extremely goofy movie. You have any questions about that? No, no. <laughs> okay, so Max turns into something at the beginning of the movie. And I'm sure it has something to do with, a. is he dreaming about the girl that he likes in the movie? Yes. Yeah, so yes. he starts out there dreaming, he's dreaming about her, and then it turns into a nightmare because Max turns Tur into... Oh, he turns into Goofy. He yeah, His teeth get buck and his go. feet get bigger and stuff. Yes, he turns into go. his dad and he's like, no, I'm going to goof it up. Yes. This movie's all about goofing it up, isn't it, Bill? <laughs> all right. What is uh, like the name of the amusement park that Goofy takes him to? Do you remember? Uh, I remember they go to one. It's based off of like, mm, you might call these animals rodents. Yeah, it's a possum, like a mm -hmm. po like the possum uh, party, something, Uncle Uncle something's possum party, something like that. You're close with a weird name. It's Lester's Possum Park. <laughs> yes, and they have mechanical possums and they all break down yeah. and it's the, it was the funniest part in the entire yes. movie. You got a question? Yes, okay, go. go which princess has red hair? <laughs> Which princess has red hair? Oh, I can think of two. Oh, yeah, there are two. Um, I'm going to say Rapunzel. <gasps> no? Can okay. I guess? Merida. Oh, Merida does have red hair. And, and Ariel. And Ariel. High five. Those are good questions. Nice job. You got right. one more, Mom? Uh, I got two more if you want them, but yeah, right. one more. Uh, how do Max and Goofy get into the Powerline concert? Max and Goofy get into the Powerline concert 
I think through the roof. <laughs> no. Jen, I hope you're getting a big kick out of this. <laughs> what is it? They sneak in in instrument cases. They sneak in in instrument cases, like a tuba like case or something like that? Them. Yeah, I don't know. There's probably no tubas at the live. You do understand that I just Googled a goofy movie trivia. <laughs> Okay. All right. Good questions. A last right, one. I've got one. one. Yeah, last one. When did the movie come out? Ooh, 1995. Well done. Did I get it? Yeah. Okay. You said 20 years ago, and it's way over 20 years ago. So 23. Correct. Very good. 23-year-old movie, goofy movie. You can watch an extremely goofy movie on Netflix, and I got two out of six questions, which is a failing grade. Uh, thank you, Ash, for coming up with those questions of and course. for putting me on the spot and making me feel like a real goof. Oh, yeah. For her? I was trying to, I was going to oh. do the goofy laugh. I can't oh, do man. it. <laughs> I will have that face of you trying to do that in my nightmares for years to come. And Annabelle, <laughs> do you have one more thing to sign off with? What do you got? Which Disney princess has lello hair and she wears it with in a bun and she and she dances with a prince and it had nine o'clock and she won away. <gasps> oh, which princess Ooh, is that? Uh she's blonde, she dances with the prince, it's nine o'clock and she has to run away. I'm gonna say Oh, oh, Cinderella. That's what I was going to say. High five. Good job. All right, Annabelle, thanks for the trivia. All right, Ash, thanks for the trivia. And Jen, thanks for the trivia. Uh, <laughs> that's it. Oh, I did not do so hot on that little quiz. Jen, hopefully you kicked this quiz's ass because I only got two out of six, which is not very good at all. And the two that I got, I really had to kind of talk through as well, except that last one. I definitely remember coming out in 1995. Shout out to, again, my friend Rob Salud and his mom, Erlinda Salud, who took us to see that movie back in 95 at Bremen Town Theater. It was $1.25. I remember paying to see it or her paying for us to see it, which was cool. I always thought that was cool when my friend's parents would just pay for me to do something. Um, I was always like, oh, wow, I don't have to pay for this? This is great. So thank you to the Salute family. And uh, thank you to everyone that listens to this show. If you have a topic you want me to do, send me an email, ryanbuds at gmail.com. I'll try and get to it. If you want to guarantee that I do it sometime soon, go and subscribe to our Patreon page, patreon.com slash trivia with buds, donate $5 or more and get some good stuff. Bunch of new rewards coming out in January, including some very, very cool swag. So get excited for that. Thank you guys so much for listening. Thanks for telling a friend and we'll see you tomorrow for more trivia with buds. Cheers. (music) 